hi and welcome to my channel so if you've clicked on this video it's because you've read the title and you've seen the thumbnail and you're thinking to yourself melvis i need to find out this legit pathway to bring my child to the uk after the 11th of march 2024 so yes in today's video i'm going to be telling you a legal really simple easy and straightforward way for you to bring your kids to the uk after the date that the uk has said carers senior carers and you know all sorts of people will not be able to bring dependents to the uk so don't worry i got you sorted and if you're new to my channel obviously you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber as usual i appreciate your time and let me tell you something i'm somebody that i like to focus on looking for solutions to problems i don't even like to use the word problems i say to challenges so if the uk government brings a law that you're thinking oh my god this does not favor me you need to find ways to still proceed rather than sit back and say oh no i'm not gonna move to the uk because they've changed the rules or i'm going to do this because no you cannot give up on your dreams you cannot give up on your goals and that's why i'm going to be sharing this pathway so if you haven't joined this family by the way take this opportunity now to hit the subscribe button below so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when i drop a new video on here at 10 a.m prompt uk time i dedicate my time my energy my experience my knowledge every single thing to make sure that you're the first person that is informed about the best opportunities that the UK has to offer, whether it's career progression or visa sponsorship opportunities. Because let me tell you, you and I are here to succeed, to excel, and our goal has to be to work less, earn more money, and get to retire early. You and I are not in this country to suffer, to be worse off than we were back home. When I look at colleagues that are worse off in the UK, I'm like, man, what are you doing? You're missing out on amazing opportunities. So whether you're watching this video and you're still back home or you're already in the UK, you need to watch this till the very end. And if there's one thing I want you to take from this is to know that you are worthy of the best opportunities that the UK has to offer. It doesn't matter where you're coming from, but the fact that you're already in this country, you are deserving. So leave a comment in the comment section below and say melvis i am deserving and yes you are because let me tell you if you don't tell yourself hmm, nobody will because you're the only person that can love yourself as much as you deserve to be loved so what is this pathway obviously it's about bringing children when we talk about children we talk about people that are under the age of 18 because anybody that is over the age of 18 is an adult they are not a child so that's who we're talking about if you are out of the uk now you're concerned about the uk government rules and regulations this is how you can bring your children to the uk even if you come as a carer if you're already in the uk now on a carer visa and you're all stressed out also this is a pathway that you can pursue it's one of several pathways that if i'm going to be sharing several other pathways you know as the days go by and by the way if you're not aware i do have a free newsletter i've dropped a link in the comment section below once you join that newsletter i send information such as this directly to your inbox you're also going to find my contact details on there so there's my whatsapp number as well as my email address so that if you need one-to-one -one support whether it's for career progression in the uk visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the uk as well as you know apprenticeships where you work and study at the same time so that you can progress in your career and not get stuck in low paying stressful jobs in this country then i'm your girl so check the comment section join the newsletter so that i send that info directly to your inbox and so this particular visa by the way the best thing about this visa is that you can extend the visa in the uk and the child can switch the visa to another visa as well once they are in the uk but let me tell you once a child turns 16 they're also eligible to work so it doesn't matter how old your child is whether your child is 10 or they're 15 or they're 16 they will be eligible for this pathway and so what is the visa code i'm going to tell you you know the requirements the eligibility criteria how to enhance your chances for success and literally everything that is needed so it is called the child student visa yes because if you have a child that is under the age of 18 you know whether you have a work visa or not in the uk whether you're eligible to bring that child to the uk or not it doesn't matter because the only thing they'll be doing is studying anyway so with this particular visa that i'm sharing in today's video is going to be a child student visa so that's the visa they're going to get it doesn't matter whether you're on a carer visa as the parent or the parents but you can bring your child on a student visa it's not a normal student visa you know that adults would get you know that's people over the age of 18 that's why it's called a child student visa because it is different and 
Another advantage also with this visa is that you can have it for like six years, which is absolutely amazing because it depends on the age of the child. So what is the eligibility criteria to get this visa? Obviously, the child has to be under the age of 17. So if you're 18, you're not eligible because you're now an adult and you need a, a, a normal student visa. So your child must be less than 17. And it doesn't matter, obviously, um, whether they're 10, you know, or they're 13. Or is that are less than 17? And by the way, as I'm going along, if you've got any questions, any concerns, do leave that in the comment section below so that, you know, other people can also share their experiences. If they've got anything to contribute, you, you know, I can also get to answer those questions if you need more info. But you can also um, get to contact me, obviously, if you need other alternatives and you need more detailed support or you need that one-to-one -one guidance because that's something that I offer. And if you're not aware, by the way, I work as an advanced nurse practitioner for the NHS um, here in England. So I've lived in the UK for 13 years. You know, I started my journey as a carer to now progressing to the most senior clinical nursing position. And so that's why I'm passionate about these pathways, these opportunities, career progression, excellence, and the fact that, look, why not here to kind of scrape the surfaces but we're here for the best part of the country that is my objective i always say to people look i didn't come to this country to suffer because sometimes when people see you as an immigrant they think oh you're suffering it's such a privilege to be here i'm like hm, no you know not for me because we're all coming from different situations different circumstances you know i don't think i came from a circumstance where i was like if i don't get to the uk you know who knows what's gonna happen to me so that's why i am unapologetic about my career progression and going only for the best opportunities so I have a private career coaching program, which I've dropped a link in the description box below or the about section of this channel where you're going to find information about it. And if you're part of the top 1% like me, then you're welcome to join the program. But if you've got any questions, concerns about what this program has to offer for you, like I've said, you know, free visa sponsorship jobs, you know, getting jobs to work for the NHS, getting into nursing. So you're funded, you know, studying nursing for free in the UK while you're being paid. You know, those are the things that I'm interested in. And those are the things that I can support you with in this country. Career progression to senior positions. You know, myself, I've done two apprenticeships, you know, since I've been in the UK where I've been paid to work and study at the same time. So I'm sharing all of this from a place of experience, from things that I've done myself even while on visa sponsorship as well. So check that out, the description box below or the about section of this channel or check the comment section. Just contact me if you're like, hey, Melvis, you're going on about this. What is in it for me? Because that's why I'm sharing this. So with a child student visa, like I've said, all you need to do to get this visa, which the child can apply obviously from out of the UK, you know, the child can apply up to six months before the start of their course, which means the first thing you want to do if you've got a child let's say you're already in the uk as an assumption you would take the child's birth certificate or whatever documents you have and then try to find a school for the child once you find a school they're going to give you obviously an acceptance letter and then that's what you use at the embassy to get the child's visa and you can apply for that visa up to six months before the start date of the child's course or the child's school um, but the child can move to the uk one month before the start of their course so it's very important you know to think about those immigration laws and rules because if the child doesn't respect those rules when they come to switching they may have issues and while by the way i'm not an immigration lawyer i'm giving this as friendly advice motherly advice advice from a colleague i know that people are concerned about this law about these rules and if you're part of my coaching program obviously um you can contact me directly as well you know to our community hub our live session on you know, Thursday, we'll talk into a lot of detail about all these different um, opportunities and ways that you can go about things in the UK, because that's what I'm about, helping you to find those solutions to those challenges that you're facing so that together we can succeed. So that's what this is about. And also do share this video, by the way, with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they're aware of what these pathways are. And because so many people are concerned about this, I know people that have said they're not going to apply for care jobs anymore because of, you know, the dependent ban. But what I'll say is be smart, be wise. You know what I mean? Don't sit and dwell on negativity. I know YouTube always amplifies everything because videos on YouTube are going to be amplified. It's going to look like there's nothing else. But look, and I must tell you, by the way, I'm not an immigration lawyer. If you need an immigration lawyer to advise you, then you need to do that. Like I say, I like to stress on the fact that this is information that is openly and readily available on the UK government website. But I'm just somebody that I'm very passionate and obsessed with getting information detailed um, from the original sources 
And so I also advise you to do the same when you want to check out info. You know, the UK government website should be your best friend in order for you to verify um, the legitimacy of what I'm telling you here. So make sure that I'm not here to tell you pokies, even though obviously it's not, it's all legit. Otherwise, I would not be sharing this with you now if it wasn't 100% legit. But it's just to say I'm not a lawyer. This is friendly advice, motherly advice, sisterly advice to those of you that are worrying about this particular opportunity. So once you've got a school for your child, obviously all the documents. There's one thing I must say, by the way, um, if I haven't said this before, is the fact that your child, you will need to pay fees for your child. But obviously, it's not like a university fees, which are ridiculously high. I mean, you can just get a really cheap, affordable school for the child and pay. I mean, it's super easy. I have friends, for example, that live in all sorts of countries out of the UK, but their children study in the UK. It is something that has been ongoing for years. Many people are not really aware of this pathway, but it is something that, you know, people already do. But I just thought if I suggest it to you, it may benefit somebody who is now stressed out about how they're going to get their kids to the UK and help you to consider. Because like I say, even if you bring kids to the UK on a, you know, dependent visa or whatever visa, the only thing they'll be doing is studying anyway. So with this visa, at least your child is still going to be with you in the same house, you know, get a school and all of that. So when they go to apply for the visa, they are going to need, if you're going to be accommodating the child, that's even easier. So then you send all those details alongside the child's, obviously, birth certificate, personal documents, the acceptance letter from the school that the child is going to be attending in the UK. You know, if um, they have another parent, obviously, you, you're going to need authorization because with minors, that's always the case. If it's just you as the only parent, then you have nothing to worry about. If both of you are already in the UK, again, obviously, you've got nothing to worry about. So the visa processing time for this particular visa is just three weeks. So it's not a long time. It's really super fast, quick. You know, like I say, I have many um, of my friends that live overseas and their children actually study in the UK on this particular visa. And you can get this visa for like six years or longer, depending on how old the child is. Let's say the child is 10 years old and they're having to study in the UK from the age of 10 till they turn 18. So that's going to be like seven years that they're going to need. So that's fine. But once they turn 18, they cannot continue on this visa, like I've said, because they will need a normal student visa if they want to go to university. But hopefully, as a parent who is diligent, who is progressive, you know, who is transformational and who is listening to the things that Melvis is saying and actually implementing by that time, you know, you should have sorted yourself out so that if you want to switch the child's visa to a dependent visa, let's say you've upgraded or whatever it is the situation is, you can also switch this particular visa. So it's something that, as, as I always say, it's about assessing your personal circumstance, seeing what is best for you and for your family, seeing what is best for your child as well. I mean, there are some children that um, you may think, oh, maybe this is not appropriate. Maybe this other pathway is better. But I mean, those are decisions that you have to make depending on your personal circumstances but like i was saying this is just to give you some other ideas so that you're not just lost um in the fact that the uk has said don't bring dependence i mean there's always a way out you know it's about being wise you know being smart and like i said to you i've got your back that's why i'm here again i know that um 99.9 percent .9 of people just watch these videos as a chore do absolutely nothing about the information which is very heartbreaking for me but i'm hoping that one percent you know you're part of that one percent of people that will actually take action you know implement make sure that you're not wasting information you're not wasting your time watching i mean you, you would have wasted your time to watch this video till now it's like how many minutes now 13 minutes i mean what's the point of it you need to do something about it so again i've shared you know detailed videos on this channel about various pathways and opportunities to move to the uk if you want to move with your family at the same time obviously you can't do that that's ideally the best choice because your child is going to study for free that's the difference if you choose this pathway that i'm talking about you need to pay tuition fees for your child but obviously it's not as ridiculous as the um, adult student visa you know for people that are going to university but you do need to pay but if you're wise and you're smart and you find a pathway where you can move with your child as a dependent that's even better because you're going to pay no fees you don't have to go through these extra steps but i know that there are many people that are going to find themselves in this situation and i'm just saying whatever situation you find yourself in don't worry because there's there is a solution to every single challenge and you shouldn't be soaking away 
focus on applying for jobs you know just get that visa sponsorship job that you need to get and then everything else will come after that you know so again i don't know what do you think about this particular piece of advice that i'm giving to you obviously like i said it's friendly advice um it's what i would do if i was in this position so that's why i'm sharing it but again it's up to you what you do with this advice also if you haven't joined this family by the way really you want to hit the subscribe button below and turn on that notification button so that you're the first person that is notified when i drop a video on here 10 a.m from uk time i drop a video every day because i want you to be the most informed person about the best opportunities in the uk like i say i do not apologize for wanting the best for myself because i'm offering services that i know that are very 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 not only sought after but excellent yes excellent and i even though i say so myself but i mean i do actually so again <laughs> You know, do make sure that um, you are just going through info. You know, you're just referring on the government website. And if you're part of my coaching program, like I said, I'll see you during our live session on Thursday. We go through all of those. But if you need any guidance and you're wanting to pursue this pathway, obviously just contact me. I mean, you know how to get in contact with me if you're in that program. And then I'll go through it with you. If you need any links, you need any advice, you need any support with any of that process that i'm here to support you because like i say this is my job this is my role this is something that i'm really passionate about and if you enjoy this content by the way hit that like button it lets me know you enjoy content like this and obviously i should do more if you want to know other pathways that you can use to move your dependence to the uk please leave a comment in the comment section and i'm more than happy to share more because like i say my focus is on looking for the best pathways to move to the uk and opportunities to progress once you're here because it's not only to move to this country but it's ultimately what you do with yourself once you get here that is really going to make a difference so check out this video that i've linked up here just to give you more information about opportunities in the uk check this out